Hey everyone, what's up, what's up? Time for another 5 minute game. And the guys just play knight c3 and move on. I'll just play e5, I don't know. Um, Alright, I guess knight c6 seems reasonable. Alright, I'm just going to take it. I don't know what the hell is going on. We're just going to play this position. Oh, knight of 5. Ugh. Alright, ugh. <laughs> I think I already messed up. That sucks. Well, maybe, uh, I guess I'm just going to castle and, ugh. So disgusting, though. He takes on e7 and then goes knight d5. Well, I don't know what else to do. Stupid Greg, man. I was going to go queen e5 here. I mean, my pawns suck. <laughs> what are you going to do? Hopefully I can somehow survive. Maybe knight to e7? Try to just... It's so annoying because I'm playing with guys so much lower rated than me, but... Now I have this big problem. If queen b2... Ah. Alright, I'm just going to try and trade and... I just... I noticed queen g4 and queen h5 type moves are very annoying. Holy moly. Alright, d5... Queen h5. That's hugely annoying. Mm. This really sucks, man. To play a 1900 and get a position like this is just really irresponsible and stupid. <clears throat> and I just gotta figure out how do I how I deal with this crap, you know, like d6, queen h5, d5, queen h5, f5, bishop takes, bishop takes, queen takes, queen b4, c3, I mean, he can get a draw, after queen b2, he can just force a draw, but okay, I'm just so much worse that maybe I should just go for that, like queen b4, c3, queen h4, what else, right? I'm just not. I'm just not quite ready to give a draw away to a, a 1900. I mean, maybe I should. My position is just so stupid. But I'm gonna try to outplay him. It's not. Not gonna be fun. Way down on the clock too. I have weak pawns. But, um, Bishop e6 seems playable. Alright. Things are starting to get at least more solid now. I mean, king h8 and, and rook g8 makes a lot of sense next. And you know what? Maybe it's not so horrible. I think I'm, I've, I've survived the worst. I mean, it looked really ugly for a bit. I don't know why I spent so long playing queen b4 to h4, because I saw it right away. Alright, let's play the end game. Well, now I can just kind of relax. Uh, I don't know exactly what move to make, so I'll just bring my king up. Maybe c6, and then like b... I don't know, man. He's just going for some kind of equality, it looks like. Mm, I'll just play like this. His a pawn's a target, so if he goes like rook a to d1, I can probably take on a2. He can go b3. And then I think I'll just, I don't know, bring my king over to e7 somehow, like b3, f5. He'll go, hmm. I'm going to keep rooks on the board and try to outplay him. He's going to go bishop f3, I assume. Now he's going to trade and go for an endgame. Oh, he didn't. Uh, somehow this looks useful. I'm not going to trade. Let's go for some queen side attack. <clears throat> so now a4 is an annoying looking idea. I've caught up a little bit on the clock. My position is not so bad anymore. Now if a4, he can go b4. 
But I kind of like the look of that. I stick my pawn on a3. And the thing is now his rook is tied down. My, my a pawn could get a bit weak though. We'll see what happens. But I have ideas now of king e7 and rook d8. Because we, he can't trade rooks anymore. So I'll, okay, now if rook d8 he can take and go... Right, I'm going to go... Mm, he can take and go c4 is the problem. Well, I might be winning there after... I might be doing well after b5 there. Let me just calculate. Alright, I'm just going to do it. I think he'll take... I mean, I assume he'll go c4. This was my big master plan. Um, not sure how good it is, actually, <laughs> the more I look at it. Oh well. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't the greatest idea ever. Should have never trade it down like I did. Let me think now, what the hell do I do? I don't know. He can go king b3 now. It's not so bad. I go king e5 after after king b3. That's a good move. I think. Jeez, how do I... How do I deal with this? Um... c5? This looks annoying. You can just go king b3, I think. Uh, that looks like weird. I don't know. It seemed weird to me to do that. <laughs> but alright, it's what he did. I totally blew this. So I shouldn't have traded rooks like I did. I should have just tried to outplay him in a rook endgame. Because then, you know, there's still a lot of tension in the position. Whereas now it's just kind of like. The position is diluted, and how am I going to win? I mean, maybe I'll find a way, and it doesn't seem like it's going to be very easy. Well, we'll see. Haven't given up hope yet. Uh, doesn't this win? Alright. <laughs> Good thing I didn't give up hope, because now it does seem that I'm just winning. Okay. Yay me. I don't, I don't know how that happened exactly. But my king is just in his face, and I'm going to win all his pawns and win the game. This was a very ugly game, though. I, I don't I don't recommend playing like this against much lower-rated players. I mean, my opening was horrible, because I was moving too fast for no reason in an un unfamiliar situation. And, and then I, I kind of traded into a bishop endgame when I don't believe I should have. It kind of took away a lot of tension from the position and I, I kind of was lucky it's kind of lucky to to win this game I mean like like for example I mean I just felt like okay this is looks like a good move but I thought he could just go like King B3 I wasn't quite sure exactly what I'm gonna do here um, I mean maybe I can just sit tight Like, I don't know, like h6, alright, let's see what he does. He can just go back, maybe I'll go f6. See if he takes, I get my king in. If he ever takes this, I can I can take on c4, but somehow this should be fine, like, I mean, b5 maybe even, although then c3, bishop d3, I don't know, it just didn't seem like I should have anything here. I thought he was better if anyone. But okay, Houdini seems to think it's a draw. I shouldn't have traded rooks though. I should have just kept the tension in the position. Like, like I, I'm so much better than the guy that all I have to do is just kind of like move around for a bit, eventually create a threat. Maybe he'll see it, maybe he won't. And then do the same thing. Just rinse and repeat. Just keep creating little threats. But once you trade rooks, it's like you're you're giving away your one of your big chances to win. And I won anyway, but it was I didn't think I was gonna. Thanks all for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.